Hi. Today, we are giving a tutorial on how to retarget Saymotion generated animations to Unreal Engine 5.4 automatically. First, let's create a 3D animation using Saymotion. As we know, Saymotion is a Gen AI for 3D animation platform. You can type a text prompt here, and then the AI will generate a 3D animation for you. For example, why don't we generate an animation for a basketball player performing a dunk? We're saying a basketball player runs to the board, jumps up, dunks the ball, then lands firmly on the ground with feet apart and hands to their side. Let's see how this works. Before we proceed with generation, let's first make sure we select a character that is compatible with Unreal Engine 5.4. What we do is to go to the character selection UI and pick a character model that works with Unreal Engine. Currently, on the Saymotion platform, there are three characters that are compatible with the Unreal Engine, the Saymotion bot. The adult female, with face rig UE, and the adult male UE. Today let's use the adult male UE. Push apply and close. Now you have a UE compatible character selected. Then, let's pick some common settings to optimize the generated animation quality. First, we select auto as the foot locking mode, so it will remove foot gliding. Second, let's give it a little bit motion smoothing to make the result smoother. The physics filter can reduce the self penetration between the torso and the limbs from the generated animation. So let's turn it on. You can also choose how many variants you want to generate. For this case, why don't we give it four variants, then we can pick the best one from the results. After finishing all the settings, we'll push the Generate Animation button to generate the animation. As we can see, the animation generation is in progress. It will usually take 20 to 30 seconds to generate a few variants from the text prompt. Okay, now the animation is generated successfully, let's review the result. As you can see, we generated four variants of dunking. Now let's pick variant 1. Go to the export menu, choose the file format. To download, we'll select FBX here for UE import. Then download. I will give it a name, say, dunking. Okay. So the result will be downloaded as a zip file. You can unpack the zip. That will give you two FBX. One FBX. Has the T pose included as the first frame. The other FBX does not have the initial T pose. We'll use the one without T pose. Let's just give it a shorter name for easier retargeting, say, dunking. Okay, after that, let's start Unreal Engine. As you can see this is Unreal Engine 5.4. Let's create a placeholder project from the third person template. Let's call it same motion, import. Create. Okay. Here we open the third person project. Let's import our 3D animations here. Let's just drag the animation. OK. So here are the FBX import options. Let's make sure to select Skeletal Mesh Import and also the Base Mesh. And also make sure to check the Import Animation options. Then under the Advanced Settings for Import Animation, it's important to check the Snap to Closest Frame Boundary option. This will make sure the imported number of frames match the FPS of the imported animation. If you don't check this option, it may fail to import the animation. So make sure to check this option. And then import all. After the import, you will see the dunking animation. Got imported. OK. So that looks correct. In order to retarget this animation to Unreal Engine, you can right-click this animation, 
and select retarget animations. And then, you choose the target skeletal mesh to retarget to. You can pick any skeletal mesh already in your project. So here, we'll just pick the UE mannequin. One thing important here is to check the auto generate retargeter option. This option is the newly added automatic retargeting function of UE 5.4. If you check this option, it will automatically retarget the animation without the need to manually map the source skeleton to the target skeleton or set up the IK chains for retargeting. So let's check whether the auto retargeting works. Yeah, it worked perfectly. Now we can export the retarget animation. Now let's check. So the automatic retargeter created a new animation asset for the target skeletal mesh. This is the retarget animation. Let's check if it works. Yeah, it works perfectly. Of course, you can also retarget the animation to other skeletal meshes. We will do it now, let's pick a different skeletal mesh here. As you can see, with UE 5.4's automatic retargeting, you can just push a few buttons to retarget animations from same motion to UE characters. We just retarget the animation to another UE character. Yep. It worked as expected. So that's it. That's how we retarget automatically a Samotion AI generated animation to a UE character using Unreal Engine 5.4. Go ahead to say and retarget a lot of animations. Cheers!